Today's topic is clingy freaking friends. And before I go ahead and get started, I'm going to just say my name's Amber and I'm the third person in Brashley. And I'm going to go ahead and get started now. I know we have all had that freaking clingy friend who just irks the you know what out of you. They copy you, they follow you, they text you, they stalk your freaking Facebook. They're like doing everything you do. They're like dyeing their hair the same as you, trying to wear the same clothes as you, trying to be the same size as you, trying to act like you, trying to have the same family as you. They're just clingy. Freaking clingy. They don't leave you be. They're just clingy. And I know, like, sometimes there's a problem, like, at home why they're so clingy to one person's because they trust them or whatever. But no. There's just, sometimes there's just nothing wrong, and they're just, like, freaking clingy, and they have no life, so they always copy you. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. And, so, I cannot stand it when people are like, Oh, Amber, I'm gonna blah, 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 because I saw that you had blah, 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 or you did blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, that's cool. Once or twice to do, like, the same thing I do, or, like, copy what I do, or try to look like I do. But when you're doing everything that I do, trying to talk like I do, trying to have the same friends as I do, like, seriously, it's getting old. Or a friend that doesn't want you to have any friends at all. It's old. I have a friend like that, okay? Seriously, I have a friend like that. It's freaking annoying as you know what. I have a friend who will try to copy what I do, try to say what I do, try to do, go to the same places I do, try to take the same friends I have. Even if she doesn't like them at all, she'll tell me she doesn't like them, and the next day she'll be like, Oh, guess what? Now we're friends. Oh, how'd that happen? Really? That's, that's interesting, because the other day you were, like, trash-talking that person. Or she'll, like, try to be the same size as me, or try to wear the same clothes as me, try to buy the same stuff as I have in my freaking house, um, try to get the same dog as me or something, you know? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Clingy friends. What else was I going to say? I had something on my mind, but then I just remembered how much I have this friend that gets on my nerves because one minute she's fine and she's like being herself, and then the next minute she's like, I want to do the same thing you're doing. Let me have the same stuff you have. Stop. Stop. Johnny, come here. Sorry, that's my dog. Anyways. My point on clingy friends is, here's a couple of ways to deal with clingy friends. One, do something ridiculous that you know they wouldn't do. Two, other than doing something ridiculous like that you knew they wouldn't do, tell them, just straight up be like, okay, I think you're, you know, you're kind of like doing the same stuff as me, can you back off a little, can you give us some time? That sounds kind of like a relationship. Okay, but like, you know, explain to them how you feel or whatever. Three, stop being their friend because they're freaking a psychopath. Four, you know, it kind of goes with number one, but like, do something crazy to your hair that, you know, you would want to honestly do. Don't do anything that you wouldn't want to do. Or hang out with like other people that you know that that person would hang out with. Or, you know, straight up just like tell them. Like, tell them like, back the freak off, you're getting on my nerves, shut up and get away from me. Sometimes you just gotta be blunt with people. It's that's just what some people need. Or you could just be like, okay, you're freaking clingy and just let it go. Or just, it, just like, uh, avoid them all the time. Just avoid them. Just avoid them. Or when they talk to you, you know, kind of shut down. Kind of like giving them a hint that they're getting on your nerves and they'll walk away and they'll give you time to cool off and then time to be like, oh, well, okay, I see why that person's wanting to do what I'm doing because their life sucks or whatever, you know. So, and then there's just the people that, no matter what you do, they're still going to copy you. And then that's when you just need to flip out on them. That's it. That's all i got to say. Clingy friends. Sometimes you can do things. Sometimes you can't do things about them. you got to figure it out in your situation. 